This is some basic chemistry that every home cook needs to know. Acid affects more than just flavor. Acid dulls green, so wait until just before serving to add it. Purples and reds are made more vibrant in acid. This is just a red onion and white vinegar, but the color is electric. A little acid will stop the oxidation of foods that turn brown. Acids cause proteins to tighten up. A few drops in dairy coagulates the protein, causing curdling. Don't let delicate proteins like seafood sit in acid for more than a few minutes or it will begin to chemically cook. Acid accelerates the breakdown of tough collagen in meat. This is why wine and tomatoes are great additions to braises for more than just flavor. Put raw onions in acid for about 15 minutes to mellow the bite. The acid interrupts the sulfur reactions, creating tender onions without that harsh taste. Great for salads and salad dressings. Acid slows the breakdown of cellulose, making most vegetables cook more slowly in its presence. So cook onions until soft before adding any acidic ingredients like tomato. Boiling in water dilutes the natural acids in veggie cells as they burst, so it makes more tender vegetables than roasting can. A little acid strengthens pectin. Add lemon juice to berry compote, pie filling, or jams to help it thicken. You can create acidic compounds in food by caramelizing or browning. This is one of the reasons brown foods taste more complex and delicious. Acids are also a byproduct of fermentation. This is what gives that tang to yogurt, kimchi, and pickles, and a sour flavor to wines and vinegar. Come back for the next lesson from this series.